In today's video, I'm going to be explaining and breaking down some of the things that we know or are confirmed for Madden 24, um, some gameplay stuff, some beta stuff, some details, some pre-order information, all of those things. Uh, we're going to be breaking that stuff down. Now, my channel, the biggest thing I want to try to do with my channel, and I've always wanted to try to do, is just help people become better Madden players. If you're looking to get better at Madden, uh, the channel is a great place to start. Also, the Patreons, where you get access to all of my eBooks. We've got a ton of stuff. Uh, we're, we're 25 offensive and defensive eBooks in there for Madden 23, and we're going to be dropping stuff for Madden 24 very, very soon. So, if you're not a member yet, it's only ten dollars to become one. The link is in the description below if you want to check that out now here i'm just on the ea sports uh, gridiron notes ea.com slash man 24 gridiron notes um, and basically there's three ea confirmed posts that i wanted to just quickly uh walk us through um and and also as i'm kind of communicating some of this stuff i might draw in some of the most recent uh, community videos and podcasts that have been done by uh, Eric Rayweather and Civil. Those are two creators I respect a ton. I've learned a lot from both of them. And so they've actually, I think, had uh, even more of an advanced take on, on some of the some of the stuff gameplay-wise. So I might reference some of their videos as well. If you haven't checked them out, I'll leave links to both of their channels in the description. So the reveal trailer, I've already done a video on this, uh, but basically here's the deal. I wanted to get into some of these gameplay uh, features and I've talked a little bit about this, but I didn't want to because we played the beta. So now we've kind of tested some of these stuff um, or, or a lot of the communities played the beta, should I say. And so they've kind of uh, all together kind of tested some stuff again. This is all just kind of hearsay, but um, let's get into it. So um, hit everything 2.0 is one of the back of the box features. It says hit everything expands with new contested catch tackle types that will provide more control and tackle variety on defense tackle animations are selected more dynamically which will unlock more fluid tackle interactions such as wrap and scoop tackles and i think this also pairs very closely with this skill base 2.0 where it says uh skill, skill base passing 2.0 diving for winning one-handed with improved catching ai thread the needle with surgical accuracy using the new throwing animations and to anticipate more authentic defensive reactions with enhanced defensive back behavior. And basically what those two things are saying in one uh, kind of concise um, statement is something that Eric Ray Rayrather mentioned um, in an interview that he did with Civil. And it basically was that the game, the, the game plays more, uh, it's a little smoother in terms of how the wide receivers and the defensive backs interact. To me, this is a huge, huge deal. Like it's a in a, in a, in a positive way. It's a good thing um, for the game because I feel like it at least provides us, if it's a little bit more smooth in terms of an interaction, then typically what it should provide us, especially competitively, is a little bit more consistency in terms of we know how the DBs and the corners are going to interact with one another or at least what to generally expect. I feel like in the last year's game, there wasn't a ton of consistency in terms of interactions. There was a lot of bumping that constantly occurred and it made it a really clunky um, wide receiver defensive back experience and also made aggressive, uh, aggressive catching in general a lot more um, overpowered. The other thing with this hit everything 2.0 feature is that it should it should improve tackling. Let's hope um, that it does. The AI enhancements here we go. Just a couple things here: DB awareness, pass coverage, blocking AI. Um, so we've heard that one of the things that I think is confirmed by uh, Eric Rayrather is that cloud flats. Whatever. Uh, so in Man 23, if you pressed a cloud flat. Uh, and let's say you dropped it back to 30 yards, he'd never make it to 30 yards. He'd never be able to get back deep enough because of the movement, okay? Um, because of the defensive back awareness, right? Some of that stuff. In Madden 24, from what I've heard, the cloud flats uh, do get back deeper, so it should unlock um, more of a cloud flat based approach to coverage without having to manually back everybody off. Another thing that has been uh, shared that I hope will get fixed is it's a, it's a little bit difficult to make uh, defensive adjustments. I think several uh, shared that. I think uh, some other people uh, echoed the same sentiment. Uh, but anyway, so that's generally the biggest thing. Um, another thing that was also kind of noticed being probably one of the biggest 
pieces of development for the game is the offensive line logic is a lot better specifically on running plays from what I think Ray, Ray Rather said. And it's also um, a lot better in terms of like pocket formation in a pass. It doesn't necessarily mean that you can't blitz, but it just means that the pocket as a general rule is going to form a little better around the quarterback. So my two cents on that would be you want to start to become like Decroft and step up in the pocket as much um, as you possibly can. Uh, that's going to be a key thing, I think, moving forward. I'm not going to get into all of this stuff, confirmed Ultimate Team stuff. I just wanted to kind of mainly touch on gameplay here. Um, for the pre-order details, real quick, uh, just one thing that I wanted to quickly say. I think it's a worldwide release at the same time. I want. I think Joker Kale was showing it on his Twitch stream today. I'm pretty sure it's 8 o'clock on the 15th, uh, but I could be wrong about that. But in general, I think it's a worldwide release. Uh, well, I, actually, I apologize. It's a worldwide launch on the 18th, and then the early, the early access, uh, three-day early access, if you buy the deluxe edition or if you have EA Play with the trial, that stuff is going to be on August 15th. So um, hopefully it's going to be at midnight on 14th, but we'll see. I, I haven't confirmed specifically what time of day on the 15th, but I do know that it's going to be on the 15th, Okay. Um, one thing that happened yesterday, I think Xerxes and I think Swift were talking about it, um, was basically on the Xbox, you got the game for 50% off um, if you pre-ordered on the desktop version of Xbox or something, um, which is awesome for PlayStation players, uh, but it is what it is. So again, this is just generally these 4,600 Madden points. I, th I really quickly, I think Decroft, I, I can't remember, I'm pretty sure it was him. But somebody said that these 4,600 Madden points are going to be spaced out over, like, you're, it's like you're going to get, like, 500 points a week or something, which I think is ridiculous. Uh, but it's better than nothing, I guess. But technically, we're paying for it. So it is what it is. Um, you know, at the end of the day, if you want to play the game three days early, um, probably should just get the deluxe edition and if you have ea play that's the other thing i wanted to say is you will get a discount on that so i think it's like ten dollars off if you order this and you have ea play so even if you just want to save five bucks i think ea play is like 4.99 a month so you could even just save five bucks if you don't currently have it last thing i wanted to do was touch on this beta so uh madden 24 closed beta details real quick these are confirmed and then i want to share one other thing that's confirmed and it's a twi i think it was on twitter but basically, this beta will run, I believe, through June 28th. Um, so you're going to have, I was hoping for three weeks. We got three weeks. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we, we did get three weeks on the beta, which is good. Ch uh, also, one of the other things that I want to say is this right here. So it does appear like they're going to be updating the beta. And I would hope that the gameplay is going to continue to get tuned and updated as well. As you're hearing a lot of community feedback start to form and people are saying, yeah, zones aren't necessarily bad. I think Ray, Ray Rither said, like, didn't notice a big improvement in zones. Uh, I think Civil said that adjustments were clunky. Um, another thing that Coach DC, uh, who's an old head, really good Madden player, uh, said was he said that I think was that rat catching was really, really, really powerful. Um, like the, And again, I think Ray Rather kind of echoed the same sentiment where when you catch the ball, you catch the ball in stride a lot more. Even when you catch interceptions, you catch interceptions, um, I think, in stride a lot more. So what that could potentially mean um, is, 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 again, with zones being bad and you can catch racks a lot, you know, um, it, it could be a, a little bit more of an offensive year again. Hopefully they're going to tune um, some of the things that, you know, community has echoed as far as defense goes, just in terms of making the zones react better because they still, I think, from what I've heard, aren't, aren't the greatest. Uh, but anyway, so the uh, the modes here are coming soon. Ultimate Team is coming soon. I will be interested to see in Ultimate Team what that's like, especially from as you're adding abilities, because uh, as I'm, I think it's pretty much confirmed that there's currently no regs quarterback that has Hot Rod Master, I think uh, what I heard. So, um, you know, ideally... Ideally, uh, we'd be able to get some some different types of abilities on Ultimate Team just to test how the game plays with different abilities. 
last thing or two things else I wanted to say about the beta, the rules. Um, so there are a ton of rules uh, about this. We can't post videos, thoughts, discussions, screenshots, or stream the closed beta on social media or the internet. Doing so will result in removal from the closed beta. So everything that I'm saying is speculation. We're not showing any video film of Mata 24 footage here. We're just speculating, again, based off what the community has already confirmed publicly about the uh, beta and about the upcoming game. So uh, that's generally what ha my approach with this. Hopefully it'll work out for us. I just, you know, it's hard to not talk about uh, this game. It's been trending on Twitter for I think three or four days now. These are some of the known issues, uh, which I appreciate them posting this stuff. I wanna go back up and say one other thing about this. Um, and that was before I got to the rules, the playbooks. Um, so one of the things that we've heard community wide, again, these are just videos that content creators have posted, um, assuming with the permission of EA, but basically we've heard community wide a sentiment. The playbooks are significantly different. They've added a lot of new formations and plays. They've taken some stuff out. And also, the biggest thing I hear here is they're not final. They will be updated multiple times during the closed beta and prior to launch. I will say that this has been said by EA before uh, when they actually, it was actually, I think, the purpose of them putting NFL Live playbooks into the game. And I believe when they put those NFL Live playbooks into the game, they maybe added like two formations, but they didn't have like massive wholesale change so when they are saying here that they're going to be updated multiple times during the closed beta prior to launch chances are they're not lying they're probably going to update the playbooks but i wouldn't expect like a wholesale update i would expect maybe a maybe one or two new formations which can completely change the meta by the way um one or new uh one or two new uh plays but i think in general some of the big concepts that madden has been trying to push on next gen consoles um, in terms of passing, passing wise concepts and formation concepts in general, I think that's going to kind of stay where it's at as far as where the beta is at. And they might just subtly add some stuff. One of the formations I think they added when they did have the live playbook um, was they had a single back bunch X nasty, which I believe Zan runs that formation at a pretty high level. I think Bobby V does as well. Really powerful offense. But from what I've heard, I think they've added uh, some more of that kind of style in terms of formations to other uh, other uh, playbooks. So maybe Bunch X Nasty or Shotgun or Pistol. I think Ray Ray was saying, like if you had, or it might have been Civil that said this, but where you, if you had like a Shotgun tight slots, for example, now you have pistol tight slots. So they've taken um, some concepts from shotgun and they've maybe put that into pistol or they put that into single back, for example. So again, just it's, it's good. Um, as much as we can expand the playbooks, the better uh, because more playbooks means more offenses that could be viable, which means a ever evolving meta, hopefully. So again, this is kind of what we know about Madden 24 right now. If you have not gotten a beta code, Every day on Twitter, I see people giving codes away like candy. Make sure you're on Twitter. Make sure you're reaching out. And also, again, reminder, this beta is going to run for three three weeks. Um, and so you can pretty much learn everything you need to know about a beta, in my opinion, in about three to five days. Um, I would love, you know, obviously we love the longer time. So not complaining about that at all. Just simply saying, like, don't panic. Don't freak out. If you emailed or registered for a beta code and you're following people on Twitter, chances are within the next week or so, I would I would assume you're probably going to get a code. Um, and then here's some of the known issues gameplay wise. Um, the biggest thing I think here. Really nothing major, so we'll see. I would like to see if I could get into this um, community feedback where you actually provide your feedback. I'd love to share like what are the top pieces of feedback that people are providing the beta, but uh, we'll see. So again, just trying to stay, you know, here's kind of what the general pulse of the community is for you guys so that you can be aware. And then we're gonna have some more videos this week where I kind of like speculate, if you will, about what I think based off what we've heard so far, what's gonna be the best, what's gonna be the meta. 
Um, and again, just speculation. Obviously, everything's work in progress, subject to change, all that good stuff. Um, this is just a beta. And Ray Rather said flat out, he's like, you know, the game's going to change. It is going to change. Um, it, it does change every time. Um, there's always a meta that forms and then the meta shifts. But the core engine of the game is the core engine of the game. And that is what it is. So if you can kind of try to, again, I've always talked about this. Anything I've told you about beta so far this year has been try to figure out the, the under the hood stuff, the core engine of the game, where are they really going? What are the what are the routes that are really good on next gen that weren't really good on current gen, for example? Um, stuff like that. So anyways, those are my thoughts on uh, what we know now. Uh, I said my thoughts, of course, so now I'm gonna get banned. Those are my, uh, I'm just sharing the information EA's provided us <laughs> um, within their community and within their content creators. Um, that have been allowed to publicly say different pieces of information. So I'm um, trying to uh, stay as uh, risk averse as I can with all this stuff is obviously not trying to break the rules here, uh, but did want to talk through just some of the things we do know that has been confirmed by EA Sports in their gridiron notes about Madden 24, as well as some of the things that I've heard Ray Rather and Civil and uh, Coach DC talk about all through uh, all throughout the, the YouTube space. So uh, anyway, that's what we know. And based off what we know, hopefully it informs how you can best prepare uh, for the next year of Madden 24. If you guys need any help with that, join the Patreon. We'll have everything in there for you that you need to be successful. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. It's just a great way to learn and get better. And um, I mean, I, I go back and watch my stuff in the Patreon all the time, um, trying to relearn. And uh, so anyways, if you're not a Patreon member yet, 10 bucks, and uh, it'll get you access to everything over there. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you with a video tomorrow talking more about Man 24.